That's a little bit later on in the show. Stamping our look at News Paris by Paris, we start in Lafayette, where Cajun Dome director Greg Davis is officially retired and his position being filled by his former assistant director, Pam DeVille. Our Justice Henderson sat down with DeVille today to hear about her plans to move the Cajun Dome forward. We're, we're looking at our marketing plan. We're looking at our strategic plan for the future. We're looking at budgets. We're talking to promoters. We are doing everything we can to make this a, a seamless transition, but hit the ground running with some new ideas. Pam DeVille is taking over the Cajun Dome with the business facing a major deficit. KTT reported in August that the deficit was more than $425,000 for that fiscal year. But DeVille says she and her team have plans in place and new ideas they're ready to put into action. We are evaluating what our upside potential is in the future in terms of generating more revenue. We're looking at putting positions in dual purpose so that we get more bang for our buck out of people. We're also looking at instituting an intern program with UL to try and train our future workers. So there are a lot of things that we're looking at. We, we are, we're right in the middle of evaluating all these budget numbers. Right now, my primary concern is getting more events into the building. DeVille says other ideas include having an express lane for food ordered before you enter the building and also updating the app and the Cajun Dome's website. There's one thing she believes has taken much of the business from the Cajun Dome. One of the things that has always, uh, for the last nine years, that has had a negative impact on us was Bayou Country Fest, honestly. Uh, cons any artists that would perform at Bayou Country Fest by contract that they signed with that event could not perform in any other venue within a, within a 200 mile radius for 11 months. So that kicked a lot of talent out of our domain. Um, it didn't affect Shreveport. So a lot of our shows honestly went to Shreveport that should have come here. DeVille says all businesses go through periods where revenue will slump, but she and her team are working through more innovative ways to bring more business back to the Cajun Dome. We're going to be as attractive and progressive as we can possibly be. And Lafayette is a great community. The Cajun Dome is an awesome venue. In Lafayette, Justice Henderson, KTC, TV3.